All right, I was asked to do a video on my throttle setup for the uh, drift trike. And basically what I did was I ordered a uh, kit from eBay for like $12 shipped. Um, came with these parts, the cable attachment here, this arm, the spring, and this arm right here. Um, it was supposed to have come with this right here, this little L bracket, but it was missing from the package, so I kind of made one from some scrap that I had lying around. Um, it looks like it's going to be too short, though, because it goes, you can see it goes farther out. So I need to make this bracket a little bit longer, about a, maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe three-eighths, um, to accommodate the travel on that uh, cable and they gave me these are the instructions there's a picture and uh, it's uh, obviously not the same engine um, so I had to kind of figure out how to mount it and what I did was I made this little attachment right here I drilled a hole through it and run the spring through it and kind of bent the spring so it would stay in there and then drilled a hole through here and ran the spring through that so that way it returns and it seems to work so that's how I have it set up now for the actual throttle I bought some anodized grips off of eBay for like $12 um, and uh, this assembly right here, the throttle assembly, and these are from a, a street bike, I think a GSXR, and uh, the throttle will run through here, the cable, and um, it will, of course, run to the back of the engine and control like this. The, the throttle will con be controlled that way. I don't. I bought a couple of cables, and I think they're a little short. So I'm going to have to probably order a longer one or figure out how to lengthen those existing ones that I have now. And uh, I'm thinking that this will be enough um, to power this thing. And it seems to work good, so there it is. 